Hey guys, it's Crazy Knight here, and for those new to my channel, welcome to the kingdom. Lately, I've been thinking about old exotics that haven't been brought up yet, things like the Pocket Infinity, the Necrochasm, the Vex Mythical Class, and the Icebreaker. I'm gonna suggest a few ways that Bungie could uh, bring these things up, and sadly, some big reasons why we might never see the Icebreaker again. Okay, let's start with the Pocket Infinity. I really enjoy this gun, it's really fun to use, and I don't think they would totally need a fancy way to bring this gun up but it was obtained from a quest in year one so maybe they could uh do a patch down the line to update that quest and uh just kind of do the same thing over again or i think that they could personally just drop it in the loot table or heck have zer sell it even now they could do what they're doing with the thorn because they're giving the thorn a brand new quest. I don't know if you'll have to have the thorn already to start that quest or if it's just a quest to upgrade it or whatnot. But I don't know how it's going to work out but they could uh, update the quest or give it a new quest if they really wanted to as well. Okay, now let's talk about the Necrochasm and the Vex Mythal class. These guns were obtained from the raids of year one and uh, they've just kind of been forgotten about and left behind. They're both really fun to use, but it seems with all the nerfs that uh, Vex Mythal class went through, I think it needs a little bit of adjusting if they brought it back up in terms of the accuracy. Now I don't have proof, but you guys will just have to take my word on it. I saw a post that uh, a user made talking about how he would like to see the uh, Vex Mythal class again, and then Cosmo actually replied to him and said that he kind of missed that gun and that he really likes the Vex Mythal class and that he would talk to uh, some people in Bungie to see if we could make that happen to uh, bring the Vex Mythal class back. So that I was super excited about that. And then I quickly replied to Cosmo and just spammed Necrochasm, Necrochasm, Necrochasm. But I didn't get a reply, but I would love to see that gun brought up as well. Now, I think the very easiest way that Bungie could bring these two guns back is if they just slapped the infused on it. It would give people a reason to go back to the old raid still, which would be cool and whatnot. So that would be the easiest way for them to carry those. But I think they could also just throw them in the loot table because I don't think very many people will want to go back to those raids. And uh, the RNG at the end of those is also pretty darn severe. I, it took me forever to get the crux and whatnot. And it is pretty lengthy and annoying to deal with the necrochasm, like, quest thingy. But, uh, I think it would be fine, personally, if they threw it in the loot table, just, like, obtainable with three of coins and whatnot. But, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. And last but not least, another way they could bring back the necrochasm and the Vex Mythal class is I've seen a lot of posts saying that people want, and just imagine this for a second, because it would look awesome, a SIVA infused Vex Mythal class and then a taken affied Necrochasm. When I hear that, I think it would be super awesome and I think it would just look insane. Now, I, I don't know if they would have to add a fancy new way to get them, maybe add a little bit more story to the items and whatnot, like the quest with the thorn, but that might be a little bit too much to expect. So maybe if they did just normally bring them forward, they could, uh, maybe add some ornaments onto them as well so you could have a taken version or a siva infused version of said weapons that would be awesome okay now let's talk about the icebreaker and i think this is where it gets a little bleak just the nature of this gun stirs up a bit of controversy because it's a sniper that recharges ammo and a lot of people have complained about this gun a little bit and uh, Bungie felt that it kind of broke the way people played PvE because they would just sit in the back of like a boss encounter and just wait for those bullets to recharge and they would pretty much just do that all day. They would just sit back and uh, just snipe forever and there was really no harm or risk to what they were doing and there was a ton of reward because you constantly had sniper ammo. So it's a little bit confusing to balance there. Now Bungie did do a little nerf to the weapon before they left it behind in the Taken King. It recharged one bullet every 5 seconds, then they nerfed the recharge time to one bullet about every 7 seconds. So that's something they did do, but the problem still technically persists. And I think it would be fine, but I think Bungie feels that a recharging ammo sniper shouldn't be in the game. So if they were to change Icebreaker to where it didn't have 
recharging ammo, that would just be really weird. But then you would have to make it behave like a normal sniper, right? Like you reload and whatnot. But if you look at the thing, it has no mag and no bolt. So what would the reload animation look like? Would it just like steam or glow or something? And then they would have to add another animation. And it seems like it would just be a lot of work for them. So sadly, I don't think we'll ever see this gun again. Now, I was trying to think of ways that maybe Bungie could change the weapon if they were super set in their ways of not having a recharging ammo sniper. Maybe they would have it where you just didn't reload, but then a non-reloading sniper is super OP still because we have the black spindle and that can never reload, but that's as long as you're hitting quick precision hits. If the icebreaker just didn't have to reload naturally, that would be way too good still, so they wouldn't do that either. Or you could look at it this way, say they did get past the whole reload animation thing and they made it like a normal sniper where you just reload and whatnot, then it would seem pretty lackluster because then all the exotic perk would be that you can get a body shot kill and then it activates Firefly. Now that might be intriguing to some people still, but to me I think they would have to buff the weapon if they made it like that and make it where just hitting someone would activate the... Uh, Firefly effect. Now they would have to do some tweaking where it wouldn't hurt the person that it's it kind of explodes off of, but I think that would make it powerful enough in that department that maybe we would just uh, say goodbye to the recharging ammo. So I think that would be a good way to bring it forth into uh, year three, but again they would have to get past the reloading thing. It just seems a little bit complicated, but I think they could do it. Alrighty guys, just wanted to share my quick thoughts on how they could bring back some of these fun and awesome weapons and sort of the problems with them as well. So uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Post down below what you think of these weapons and the way that you would like to see them brought forward. Anyways, this has been Crazy Night Hero. Have a fantastic day everybody. And I'm out!